जय श्री राम आई टेल यू अबाउट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सपेरिमेंट इन साइकोलॉजी विच विल गिव यू थेरेफिक इंसाइट्स इन टू हाउ वी हैव मेनी कस्टम्स अबाउट विच यू हैव नो आइडिया ओके देर वॉज देर वॉज अ साइकोलॉजिस्ट हु टूक फाइव मंकीस स्टार्ड दैम फॉर अ डे और टू and then he introduced these monkeys into a big cage big cage as big as a room and in this cage there was a big bench there for the five monkeys to sit the monkeys sat down there the cage was dimly lit and at one corner of the cage uh, there was a ladder and on top of the ladder there was a bunch of bananas that was kept there now because the monkeys were starved for two days their vision was very bleak b l e a k bleak means very weak uh, bleak future means future is bleak means uh, very bad so the word bleak so the vision was very bleak the monkeys could not see after some time one of the monkeys noticed that there is a ladder and there is a bunch of bananas there so the monkey went and it got hold of the ladder and it puts uh, it put its uh, foot on the first rung of the ladder and as soon as it did that there was a powerful jet of water cold water that was directed at all the monkeys including this monkey and the force of the water was such that the monkey was thrown away and the water like you know water cannons cops use so it was like a water cannon with the water which was extremely cold so you can imagine the discomfort that they all must have experienced so the monkey got thrown and the monkey went away sat down and after 10 minutes of brooding because they were all starved you see hunger makes a man do anything so this monkey got up again second time second time went again did the same thing same thing happened more water cold water he was thrown out and everyone was also you know given a dose of that cold water jet it was terrible so this time the second time the monkey sat again and it got up after 20 minutes because hunger was forcing it the bananas are available why not so the moment this monkey got up the other four monkeys gave this monkey a sound thrashing <laughs> you must have understood why isn't it so all the teeth they were all hungry and on top of it two times we have already seen that every time you try to touch the ladder there is a powerful water jet that is directed at all of them and this bloody idiot is insisting already we are hungry and suffering and this uh, bloody fool is making things worse for us so the monkeys gave the this fellow a sound of thrashing after receiving the thrashing this monkey sat down now the experiment was to continue the experimenter removed one of the four monkeys the thrashers and he brought in another monkey which was again starved for two days so he is a newcomer who has entered the cage now now just imagine the newcomer has entered the cage and it is noticing everyone uh, there are three of them there who are who seem to be in a bad mood and one fellow is badly thrashed and he has got a swelling on his cheek he could make out that fellow received some beatings so this fellow came in he also sat down for some time he couldn't understand there's a lot of water there's a lot of tension palpable in the room palpable means something that can be felt palpate means to touch so after some time this new monkey noticed uh, hey bananas he just shouted hey bananas the three got up and gave him a sound thrash now the second monkey sat beside the first monkey can you guess the predicament of the second monkey the second monkey had no idea why he is getting thrashed just for saying bananas what the hell is happening here but he was scared but they are beating very strongly you see <laughs> the first monkey at least knew why he got thrashed the second monkey had no idea why he is getting beaten up anyway he sat quiet because the situation seems dicey there are three fellows against him a little time passed and one of the three thrashers was removed and a fresh monkey was brought in this monkey came in that this new monkey came in 
Similarly, the monkey had no idea. It noticed two fellows are badly injured. Two fellows seem to be in a bad mood. There's a lot of water here. Hey! He just looked at that. He didn't even say banana. By the time he just looked at that, the first one who got thrashed joined the two thrashers and gave this fellow a sound thrashing. Uh, the first fellow joined the gang. Because you see, it is a natural human tendency also. How long can we live excommunicated sort of, you know, cast away, outcast, excommunicated, eh? ostracized. So the monkey was feeling ostracized and we all have a strong need for belonging. So the monkey joined the gang, though it was actually beaten up badly. And now it beat, beat uh, the, all the three of them thrashed this fellow. So this fellow sat down there. The third fellow who got thrashed, his situation is worse. His predicament is worse. At least the second fellow said banana and something is wrong with the bananas. That's why they have beaten me. This fellow has no idea. Just looking at the bananas got thrashed. Now two were there. One more was removed. A new one was brought in. Same thing repeated. I don't have to. Uh, you can guess what might have happened. The fellow, new fellow came in. He saw all of them. He just one look. The second fellow who just said bananas and got thrashed. He also joined the gang. Thrashing gang. A small mafia has uh, got uh, created there. So thrash this one. This fellow is now sitting there. He has no idea what the hell is happening. Why are people beating me just because I take a look at some bananas there. And by the way, the experiment was such that uh, the water cannon was switched on only for the first two attempts. If the monkeys had tried it the third time, there was no water cannon. So everyone could have actually enjoyed the bananas. This is the secret only the test <laughs> creator, <laughs> the tester knew. The monkey said no idea. Now you have one more monkey, uh, one more brought in, uh, one of the thrashers left. Uh, so this fellow looked at the thrasher along with uh, the couple of others also joined, gave him a sound thrashing. Now this fellow has joined and finally the last fellow uh, has been removed. Uh, so all four have received beatings. One more fellow comes in, looks and all the four gang up and thrash him. Uh, and now this uh, monkey, new monkey got thrashed. So he's kept there and the first fellow who knew why he got thrashed, that fellow was removed. So actually in the cage, there were five monkeys seated on the bench, all having received thrashings and all of them have no idea why the hell they got thrashed. At least the first fellow knew, nah, that fellow is removed now. Now the experiment continued. The experimenter removed all these monkeys from the cage and released them in an open area, in a small forest. And in that forest, at a certain distance, he kept a, 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 a ladder and a device there, a stool, on which monkeys, uh, these uh, bananas were kept. And they were just studying the behavior of the monkeys. So, another day passed. The starved monkeys never. So, more new monkeys were brought in. Small monkeys were brought in. And this activity continued after some time. And peace settled after some time. This whole process was going on. In between, some food was made available. So that the monkeys don't die of starvation. But the food was never, you know, full. So everyone got a very limited quota just to survive. But a big lo lot of bananas are there. It was noticed that uh, the monkey society had established some kind of a, a rule. There is a rule book now. And the monkeys were obviously communicating in their own monkey language. What happened was even small monkeys, uh, they would never ever go there because they received instructions for the elder, from the elder monkeys. You know, if I explain it in our language, it would be like this. The big monkeys seem to have imparted this wisdom from their own new holy book. So the monkey's holy book, they have designed a holy book now. And then they taught the young monkeys, even if you are going to die, never, never uh, try to eat bananas which are kept on top of a ladder. And some monkeys would have asked why. They would have told him, don't ask questions. This, this is blasphemy. These are rules coming down from our big monkey guard who's sitting in the sky. 
and so you should not ask such questions don't ask such questions and so the monkey society finally settled down with this wonderful dogma that bananas even if you are going to die it doesn't matter of starvation never ever eat bananas which are kept on top of a ladder that is how the uh, you know rule was established nice one isn't it even in human society there are so many superstitious rituals people are indulging in they have no idea why and there's no reason also please make a note find out why we have a ritual so fortunately in hinduism uh, most of the rituals that we have which are authorized by the vedas and the bhagavad gita uh, are deeply spiritual and philosophical and scientific too most of them are scientific some of them which are not scientific are deeply spiritual so they edify mankind but unfortunately this is not true in the rituals of many of the other major religions so even we hindus have to continuously reform ourselves so do not mindlessly indulge in any ritual whatever it might be find out if you are convinced that yes it has a deep spiritual motive and a very very deep uh, you know objective to uplift mankind and uh, bring about a progressive society fine otherwise we are just behaving like monkeys we have no idea why we are following all these customs i hope you enjoyed listening to the story jai shri ram i'll come with another one next time